Ola Sombrero Time Instructors. So this is Spanish 1, Unit 5, Week 1. want to talk about it. We're going to focus in on the family. So this is the nuclear family uh, plus los abuelitos. Every day you want them to be building out this family portrait. So you'll be talking about one day the mom and dad, the kids, los abuelitos. So you do a little piece of the picture and then you're going to write just a portion of this. This isn't something you want to overwhelm kids in Spanish 1 with in one day. It's a lot of script. You want to do a little portion at a time. Have them write out what their family is, that what their mom's named, how many people they live with. Then have them repeat the sentence out loud. All right? You're going to begin the sentence and then they're going to plug in, Yo vivo con... Quantas personas? So then everybody will say what their number is and then together, personas. Don't forget to review Joven Viejo. A fun thing that you can do is bring a catalog that you got from home and you can just flip through it and say, ¿Cómo está esta persona? Es muy joven. Es muy viejo. Review that with lots of pictures. Then we want to go into the dialogue. It is mi mamá. Now, some fun books that you can read this week that talk about animals and have that question is the um, Eastman book, It is Me Mama, or another really common book you can check out. A, a lot of your school libraries will have this book in Spanish, and if you don't have it, it's on Amazon, and we have some extra copies as well. Tu Mama es una llama, and that's a cute book as well. In the dialogue, have your sentence strips already written so that you can start that dialogue. You're going to want to alter it. Maybe you could even make it into an animal and bring some puppets. Make this a fun thing. Every day, alter it. Now, in the pronunciation part, what I'm saying in day one is put some syllables on the board and then start making words. Mala. Repiten. Malo. Mole. Start playing with the words and helping them see how these syllables come together. Over enunciate those vowels. Make them really bring up to over pronounce. Make them come up and present a couple of words. Now remember here, the word doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be a real word. It's just about pronunciation and can they read and put the two syllables together to form a word. So that should be kind of a fun thing. So day one, you're going to go over the mom and como es la mamá. So that's a great time to bring up some of those descriptive words that you practiced during the opening session. Day two, you're going to go over siblings, hermana, hermanos. Have them fill out those sentences. Day three, you're going over los abuelitos. And day four, you can finish up anything that you haven't finished on the dialogue and on the worksheet. You can even give some of your more advanced students the opportunity to share that out loud. Also, during this week, you're going to want to take some time for this dictation. Have them work on this. If you have more advanced Spanish 1 kids, they should be able to do this alone. If they don't, do it with them and do it together. But if they do it independently, give yourself some time to go back in and correct it. This is a dictado. That means that you pronounce the word and they write it. So good job. Have a fun week. This is a great week to get to know their families a little bit. Hasta luego.